Hello viewers, welcome to this video. We've seen how to provision a Kubernetes cluster on CentOS 7. We've seen how to provision a master node and a worker node. And recently I've also done a video on how to provision a Kubernetes cluster on Ubuntu 2004, again with a master node and a worker node. So one of my viewer was trying to use different distribution uh, in his Kubernetes cluster. I believe he used CentOS 7 for master and Ubuntu some version for worker node. He mentioned that he, he was having some problems using mix of uh, operating systems in his Kubernetes cluster. So his master setup on CentOS 7 was fine. And when he tried to join the Ubuntu worker node, he had some problems. So I believe we shouldn't be having any problem. To be honest, I don't pay much attention to the underlying operating system. Having said that, it will be it is advisable to have a similar operating system for your entire cluster and also the same version of Docker runtime on all your master and worker nodes to make your life a lot easier. All right, so in this video, I'm gonna be trying to deploy the master node on CentOS 7 and worker node on Ubuntu 20.04. Let's dive in. So I've got my uh, CentOS 7 and Ubuntu 20.04 virtual machines. First, I'm going to log into my CentOS 7 virtual machine. Okay, so I've logged into my CentOS 7 virtual machine. And let me open my GitHub documentation, Kubernetes. All right, so that's my GitHub repository, Kubernetes. And if I go to docs, and I've got install cluster CentOS 7 and install cluster Ubuntu 20. I've logged into CentOS 7, and if I do cat etc OS release, so that's CentOS 7. And we're gonna be using this machine to provision our Kubernetes master node, all right. So let's follow this documentation. And the first thing is we need to disable firewall. I'm going to become the root user. So all the steps that I'm gonna follow are going to be performed as root user, all right. So sudo become the root user. First thing is disable firewall and stop the firewall service if it's running. And then disable swap and also make it permanent. That's done. Disable SE Linux and kernel parameters. That's uh, gonna make this kernel parameter permanent. And we also need to make that effective for this current session. So run this command. And finally, we're gonna install the Docker engine. That's done. And we're gonna add the repo. That's done. Install Docker. I'm installing a very specific version, 19.03.12. Docker is installed now. Let's enable the Docker service and start it. All right, that's done. Kubernetes setup. So now we're gonna add the yum repository. That's done. And I'm gonna install the Kubernetes components. So kubeadm, kubelet, and kubectl. I'm also installing specific versions of these components, 1.18.5. Kubernetes components installed. Now let's start and enable the kubelet service. Okay, that's done. On kmaster, we are going to initialize our Kubernetes cluster. So the command is this one here. So make sure to substitute your IP address of the kmaster machine that you are initializing the cluster. In my case, it's 172.16.16.100. It's gonna take a couple minutes, so I'm gonna pause the video and come back when it's ready. Kubernetes cluster initialized. So now we're gonna deploy Calico as the overlay network. Copy that and paste it. All right, so that's done. And finally, I'm gonna run this command to generate a command that I need to run on my worker node to join that node to this cluster. So if I run that command. So that's the command that I need to run on my worker node. So I'm gonna copy that and I'm gonna paste it here. So I, I need the command when I'm setting up my worker node. All right, so that's all we need to do on the master node. So our master node is running on CentOS 7 and it's fully set up and I can exit out of it. And now I'm going to log into my worker node, which is Ubuntu 20.04 and I'm gonna become the root user. All the commands you're running needs to be run as the root user, cat etc os release. You can see it's running Ubuntu 20.04 and I'm going to export term equals x term. All right, so now I'm gonna follow my Ubuntu documentation to set this up as a worker node. So we need to follow a few steps which are applicable for both master and worker nodes. 
things like disabling firewall swap and so on all right let's do the first step disable firewall firewall stopped and disabled turn off the swap copy the kernel parameters that we need and make it effective for this current session install the docker runtime at update and then finally I'm installing a specific version of docker docker is installed we don't have to start and enable the service because in Ubuntu when you install docker uh, the docker service is enabled and it's already running for you we had to do that on CentOS 7 but we don't have to do that on Ubuntu all right so now Kubernetes said that we are going to add the repository apt repository for Kubernetes and then apt update and apt install the kubernetes components again i'm installing specific version of kubernetes components 1.18.5 kubernetes components installed and the following steps are applicable only for the master since we are setting up uh, the ubuntu 2004 as the worker node we can skip all these and finally just one step pending which is to run the command that we generated on the kmaster to join this node to the cluster. So I'm gonna to go to the command that I copied from Kmaster and run it here. That's done and now this worker node is joined to the cluster. All right, so we've done, we've completely configured our worker node. We've done uh, initializing the Kubernetes cluster on the master node. We should be having a working cluster now. So I'm going to log out and I'm back on my host machine. I'm gonna make a directory called dot cube under my home directory and I need to copy the Kubernetes configuration file from Kmaster to my host machine. So SCP root at the IP address of my Kmaster and the file I'm copying is etc kubernetes admin.conf which is the Kubernetes conf file and I'm copying that to dot cube directory under my home directory as config. Enter the password and we've got the admin.conf file. Now we should be able to access our Kubernetes cluster, kubectl cluster info. Cool, so our cluster is running. That's the API server running on 172.16.16.100, which is the master node on port 6443. kubectl get nodes, and we've got both the nodes, master and worker nodes, they're already running version 1.18.5. And if I do kubectl version minus minus short, my client version, kubectl command version is 1.18.5, server version 1.18.6, that's fine. And if I do kubectl get nodes minus O wide, and you can see here master is on CentOS 7, kworker on Ubuntu 20.04. So now we've got a cluster with a mix of distributions with uh, CentOS 7 and Ubuntu 20.04 and running different versions of Docker, slightly uh, different minor version. On CentOS 7 master node, we are running 19.3.12 and on Ubuntu, we are running 19.3.10. That shouldn't make any difference. But to be honest, you shouldn't really care about the underlying operating system. I would advise you to go with the same operating system, same version of Docker on all your nodes, including the master nodes. That will make your life a lot easier when it comes to troubleshooting. All right, so hopefully this will help the viewer who had the problem with using multiple distributions in his Kubernetes cluster. And you can also do this, give this a try, and you can also follow the same documentation. So in my docs folder in Kubernetes repository, I've got these two uh, documentation, one for CentOS 7, one for Ubuntu 20. You could follow the documentation. You can also do the opposite. You can install the master on Ubuntu 20 and worker on CentOS 7 and see if that works. Um, that should hopefully work. That's all for this video. Hopefully you found this uh, useful. Make sure to subscribe to my channel. If you've got any questions, let me know. I'll be happy to help and I will see you all in my next video. Bye-bye.